So we built this greenhouse with off-grid capabilities, meaning it can handle on its own without any external input, aside from seeds and fertilizers. But for the water supply and the energy, um, we're getting it from good old-fashioned nature. We've got our gutters connected to the rainwater tanks, which is being uh, split between the both of them, running into our pump over there. The panel, we have it integrated on the side of the greenhouse, following the, the pathway of the sun. Let's take a look out here. So she sits, she sits right there on the side. And that's being fed into the box to the solar controller, to the batteries to the inverter via our breakers. First breaker is for the panel to the controller. Second one is controller to the battery. Third one is controller to the uh, inverter. And then we got our AC load switch over here on the output side of the inverter. It's pretty simple. And we got our irrigation controller done by orbits it's from the US so we have to put a transformer there step down the batteries are two units of 150 amp hours so we run them we ran them in series to make it 24 volts so that gives us enough juice to run the, the greenhouse for both the NFT system and the cocoa bags Cocoa bags are done with the orbit controller run through the uh, solenoid valves through our mixing tank over here, 200 liters, which is then connected to the pump and the pump manifold. NFT system over here works on the basis of a timer, a digital timer. There's no Wi-Fi in the area, so we put in a digital timer to make life easier digital timer can be run manually or you can set your presets through the timer function uh, we have it set for every two hours 10 minutes 15 minutes but eventually you have to customize it based on the conditions inside the greenhouse humidity temperature and all that so that's what we call a sustainable greenhouse off-grid greenhouse where it's both we focus on the just making life easier and relying less on the external outputs um, as well as uh, focusing on you know not having not people that work in here and not exerting too much energy and allowing them to just focus on growing beautiful plants rather than maintenance or other things that uh, they don't need to keep doing on a daily basis. There you go.